So sometimes we find it difficult to do unique count on pivot table, just like how I have this long diseases. So I did um, formulas to count the long diseases. So I did unique um, counts for that. But I'm trying to do the same thing for pivot table and it's not giving me the unique counts for the long disease. So when you go to count here, field setting, you're not having options for distance counts or unique counts, which is what the tutorial is all about. So we want to make pivot table to give us just six as a grand total for unique counts for the long diseases. So now let's get right into it. So you go to your data. My data here is the long disease data and you are like to just as I've done like this, then you go to insert. We want to bring in a new pivot table. So you click on pivot table and you click on existing because we want it to be on the same sheets where we already have a pivot table. Then you go and pick your location. So my pivot table is on another sheet, which is called analysis. So I go to analysis and then I pick anywhere here in analysis. So let's pick here. So that's my location. Then I tap enter. Then next you tick on this button, which says add this data to the data model. So you click OK when you've done that. So you just click OK. And now the system has created a new pivot table for you. As you can see, it added it. So this pivot table 16. That means I already have 15 pivot table representative here. So this pivot table 16. So then we are going to, our target is to count, um, unique count for lung disease, or you can say distinct counts for lung disease. So I'm going to go to disease type. So I bring in my disease type to the rows. Then I bring it to the values. As you can see, it's still giving me the counts for the long disease. So I go back to my values. Then I click on the drop down value field settings. And I scroll down here. Now we have distinct counts. So you pick the distinct count and it says, okay. So let's scroll down. So as you can see, now we have six which also tallies with what we got with the formula. So with the formula, we got six for unit count of a long disease. And now with the pivot table, we have six. Hope this was helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe, and follow for the full tutorial of our beginner data analysis um, class on this, which is from data cleaning to analysis, and also the visual. We're currently working on the visual when we're done. We'll roll out the tutorial please follow for more or subscribe for more <laughs> see you in my next video bye